pipeline wano ya ita ndi mwera likilivunti inyumbe yu tuwanza kubanga baita wano ni imba wanga nyinamu imbera jinzo kubanga hii ya gaza all along the root of the planned East African crude oil pipeline, the echoes of communities voicing the same concerns. If built, the 1,443-kilometer pipeline would link the Tilenga and Kingfisher oil fields in western Uganda to the Tanzanian coast. There is a lot of resistance against the ECOP because the Tilenga, Kingfisher and ECOP oil projects are bad for people, are bad for nature and are bad for climate change. I object the pipeline because it has displaced a thousand and a thousand of people without enabling them to regain their land elsewhere. Total Energies and the Chinese company Sinok acquired the rights to develop the oil fields along with Ugandan and Tanzanian companies. Uganda has considerable renewable energy potential. It doesn't need the pipeline. Dente tula wa chichi government chigama ntuwa waluente katika yuna yoku davidiza kubutonde wenzi. Like some 90% of farmers, Nsubuga accepted money in exchange for a plot of his land. But he described a process that was lengthy and confusing and many promises including some assistance with the school fees unkept. Miaka ni miaka ba jaja fujibali ba simbe mwani zidi inga zitu yamba inga zitu buli sizo ni buli sizo ni inga zitu wa school fees ina fefe njini njini okuyambi wako katimu msanji zinu tulabanga tunyigirizi wa havana wa febe ya katia school fees ziri nyecha neguro Problems around the relocation of the family's graves caused more resentment towards total energies the compensation offered at the time wasn't always enough for the traditional rituals to be conducted. Not far from here, Lubega is one of the few farmers who refused compensation from Total Energies. We are going to go to the house and we are going to go to the house and we are going to go to the Gamba Vanang, your Mutigue Mwine, to solo Gusimachina, no Gulem Mwine, or Lima Ogulangul, or Georgi Simbo, or Solo Malaco centers among the Nigizanio, Catins are when a gun running an oxiding. Then the four Muzino Zavalit or Kuliabin to Zerabago, Bumukuzita Ping, Muzo Cham, the Chamazima Tivira be Kabunji. Total Energies promised farmers would not be worse off. But those living their land have not been fairly compensated. The money received didn't allow them to purchase land as fertile or as big in the same area. 100,000 people across Uganda and Tanzania will lose their land and livelihoods. People who, who depended on their land for survival, uh, schooling their children, medication, and all sorts of income in the home, they lost it and it was a long time. The families grew up being supported by that land, but one project is coming and taking it in just a few hours. In a response to Human Rights Watch reporting about inadequate compensation, Total Energies said they continue to pay close attention to respecting the rights of communities concerned and added they believe the compensation paid met the standard of full replacement value. Nganze siri mumativu ndi amafuta bwigaita ndi kokutambula ewasigale takanyaba nja simbawe wasigadde okusimbawe chijanjalo ne chikulo bane mwanye ina nyamba masi jemba densubira tenza kusigala chimu 
those who resist and those who defend them risk arrest and continuous threats from the Ugandan authorities. If you're campaigning to stop the expansion of the fossil fuel industry, it's uh, very difficult, most so if you're working in countries such as Uganda where the civic space is repressed. Now when it's realized that arrest can't stop you, then intimidation, threats, delegitimization and other types of other forms of activities that are aimed at stopping the work that we do are perpetrated against us. The method of continuing has been silencing those who want to talk. They create fear to talk about these dangers, to see that nobody else should talk about it. Jealousy, a farmer and a pastor from the northern part of the country, decided to take the fight against ECOP and Total Energies to France. Then when I was coming back at my mother's home, Uganda, I reached at Entebbe Airport. I was arrested, detained in jail for nine hours. And after I came back, the intimidation from, from calls I get is from different peoples calling me, not knowing them, that you are sabotaging government, you are sabotaging a project. And while the farmers wonder what the future holds for them, activists hope international financial backers will steer clear of supporting ECOP. We'd also like to see the international community ensuring that investments or money is flowing into the green economic sectors. It's not enough for them to take away funding from the fossil fuel sector. They must ensure that the funding that has been going to that sector flows to renewable energy and other green economic sectors so that Ugandans and people elsewhere can prosper while conserving nature.